Hi, I'm Graham Massey. I've been in bands in Manchester since the 70s, uh, such bands as Biting Tongues, 808 Steak, uh, Tool Shed, Home Life. So, so I'm here working uh, with the guys from Drake Music uh, and it's a collaboration between the, the Manchester District Music Archive of which I've been a contributor since the beginning and uh, I've been involved in the Lowry exhibition um, Defining Me. As a spin-off of that uh, it, there was a connection to work with the prospectors. Prospectors are um, a band of disabled musicians from Stockport and we got them together with Graham um, and so it was really interesting to try and bring all of these different um, aspects together both celebrating Graham's life in Manchester music and also um, looking at the assistive music technologies that that band use and seeing how Graham could sort of augment that in some way with his own knowledge. So, so we've been working with what they call assisted technologies using sort of uh, different controllers to enable people to participate in music. Uh, it's, it's more like a band using iPads, things called sound beams and a MIDI creator uh, and switches as well which are things that I've got from a PlayStation quiz game. We can give people with often very limited movement, a chance to participate in music in quite a meaningful way. Hello, I'm Yaz. Uh, I've been coming up uh, Drake since 2009. Working with Great Mass has been very, very good, actually. It's been a learning curve for me. And I'll Things like that. This project that we're just doing now with Graham has given us opportunity to be a little bit more experimental with the equipment, find out things again, a bit more time to work. I'm bringing in my experience in um, sort of textural stuff, MIDI technology, uh, use of synthesizers, and the whole theme that were of the concert is space rock. It's um, been very good for. It's very wide ranging. Learn new songs, learn new everything. Yeah, a bit different to what we normally use. Probably slightly, slightly heavier and kind of the hawk wind and the gong tracks, particularly. People here already knew Voodoo Ray. That's quite well known, obviously, as a Manchester dance track. But it is a bit, a, a bit fuller kind of rock sound than we, we normally create. Although there's a lot of spacey techno stuff going on around it as well. It's great with, with Graham's involvement. Uh, it's great to see not only the members thinking outside the box, but us as uh, you know, the, as musicians thinking outside the box as well. And I've never really uh, listened to the output of something like Gong before. Or uh, even Hawkwind, like, you know, they say Hawkwind, I really only know them for one particular track, so it's interesting. You know, the performance itself was a fantastic experience um, for the prospectors. Um, they had done gigs before, but this was particularly well attended and um, it was just exciting in terms of the new arrangements and the, the new bits of kit that were being used. I think about 120 people attended the gig, which is also great for the um, Manchester College students who were engineering it um, as part of their college work. Um, it was a fantastic opportunity for them because they'd never worked with such a complex setup and it was actually the first time um, following a period of shadowing um, engineers that those students were sort of in the driving seat for the gig and it was really complex for a variety of reasons but it was a really important learning experience for them um, so that was another of the, the outcomes of that project.